Good afternoon from Salet here in Bangladesh. We're in a little bit of traffic in a part of Salet that never really gets traffic and it's because there's a politician in town. Uh, we just conveniently are going down the main road trying to get into the center of town and there's hundreds of motorbikes, vehicles, and there's this guy kind of just like hanging out uh, the roof of, uh, of this car and he's a famous politician here doing a rally or visiting Salet. I'm not entirely sure. I have no idea about the political situation in, uh, in Bangladesh, but maybe I'll try and get a, uh, a quick little shot of him. I think he is maybe in the car over, but we actually met a couple of our fans that watched uh, my videos in Pakistan and have watched Nadir's vlogs around the world and they're in the rally supporting uh, whatever he's doing. But I think this tuk-tuk here is just blocking our view. I think he's, uh, he's just on the other side, but this traffic is insane. But there's literally so many cars and bikes and CNGs on the road. We're taking up both lanes of traffic. Like there's four <laughs> like lanes of traffic right here. You can see that's kind of meant to be the dividing line. And you have people going along the grass tracks up there because of so many people just trying to get up to this guy. Um, he's kind of waving his hands out of the sunroof of his car. But look at this. This bus is like in the middle of the road. And there are people going on the right side through the grass. There's cars on this side, there's CNGs on this side. Every person in the whole city of Salet is joining this man in his parade, in his rally. I'm not, like, I, I have no idea what is going on. I really want to catch up to him just to, to show you guys. But we may not be able to. He's kind of directing the traffic and he has security and whatnot. What, what party did you say he was from? Or? Okay. The ruling party in Bangladesh. Yeah. Well, look, these guys, they're all there. he's on Facebook Live or Instagram Live or TikTok Live, vlogging the whole experience. He's got his family in the back. So would people actually just like be here for him or they're conveniently like us going? No, I think like the bikes are all for him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about all these cars. They're just accidentally in the traffic. I, I, mean, I, I bet the CNGs are not part of the rally. Yeah. The cars, I don't know. Like, if they're looking about. There he is. Oh my god. This bus right here is a double decker bus, but look at this tree. You can already see so many trucks have hit that tree to the point where. The bark is already off. I have no idea how that big double-decker bus is going to make it under that tree without going totally onto our side of the road. That was insane. You can already see how many people have hit that tree. But we're slowly making our way. I think that politician guy, he's well far down the line. He got his escort into the center of town. But we might be able to catch up to him, I'm not sure. I just wanted to show you guys uh, him standing out the front. Or on top of the uh, on top of the car. Okay, done about. Alright guys, we're back down at the famous clock area. So uh we're just gonna start here and again kinda of just like roam around. Salam alaikum and just kind of explore the area. <laughs> Adir's already getting recognized here. But it seems a little bit more uh, busy this time. Maybe it's because it's a little bit more into the evening. But there's more people loitering around. The food shops seem to be hustling and bustling. And there's a lot more boats out. This guy's just fishing. I wonder if he's gonna have any luck catching a nice bit of dinner. <laughs> it's so funny these guys have a tuk-tuk with a two massive megaphones saying something. And he's just doing circles, yelling. What are like uh what are those people with the megaphones saying? Can you hear that? Announcing something, I'm not quite sure. It's always hard to understand what they're actually yeah. saying. Yeah, well, I guess they're speaking a different yeah. dialect here. No, they're speaking proper Bangla. That's Bangla? They're saying like 7 p.m. 
something. Okay. Like some event or... Some play at 7 p.m.? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You had a goat, right? Yeah, I bought a goat in Pakistan. We're like two timing on your goat now? <laughs> yeah, how much would a goat like that cost in Bangalore? At a sagol or dam koto, Bangladesh is random. Dam koto? Do you have that? Like, so 2000 or something like that? I think that's oh wow, $20. Paid. I think I paid like 40 or $50 for yeah. a goat. That is an expensive goat. That is, <laughs> I think I got ripped off. And then I sold him the next day. <laughs> I sold him for $10, I think. <laughs> I lost the Not profit. The best uh, ROI. I lost, yeah, I lost the profit on Greg and everyone got angry at me in the comments so i think i deleted the video <laughs> i think it's up on facebook maybe selling goat like, yeah i remember seeing it <laughs> you want to go down yeah no these guys are all like fishing are they fishing ah. so like in the in monsoon season and rainy season this like all fills up like significantly more i don't know how high it goes but i'm guessing it can go up like pretty high Maybe yeah. to the top, but I'm not, not entirely sure how high it actually goes. So like a lot of the floods that happen, yeah. is it from Over rivers or is it from poor drain of, drainage of rainfall? It's, uh, it's, it's mostly from rivers, like okay. rivers overflow. Yeah. But like we also have poor drainage, so like yeah. it's a combination of both. That's why the floods have been like, they're not as bad as they used to be like 40 years ago, because now there's like proper drainage systems to yeah. do that. Like back in the day, half the country would get flooded. Yeah. There's like a lot of heavy rainfall and like rivers overflow. Wow. Yeah, Nadir just mentioned, you can see all like the cloth that's on definitely that level there, but even actually higher up. So definitely at some point it's gotten up to that level and all of the cloth and kind of rope and stuff has tangled up around. But <laughs> wow, look at the trash here. It's, it's like everything you got, like medicine, you got cigarettes, you got red tea, all kinds of different things. But yeah, look at this. Well, something's like being eaten over there, I think. A lot of commotion. <laughs> Salaam alaikum. You wanna go? Yeah. Okay. It's super hot in the weather. So I need to get rehydrated. Salaam alaikum. Uh, Koto? Get it. How much is that? 80. 80. Okay, I'll have one, please. Ek, ek, ek. Do you want one? No. Nah. These are still coconuts, right? I don't know. But these ones, the green ones are always the best ones. They have the best kind of like liquid inside, the freshest ones. Whereas these old ones have the best actual meat. But look at this. Opening up. The coconut in there gets it all flat. Oh, a bit of a squirt off. There we go. And then here we go. Get the straw. Don't know, bud. Thank you. All right, everybody. Fresh coconut water. Exactly what you need to rehydrate here in Bangladesh. It's been so hot today. I really need a. Nice cool drink. I don't think it'll be too cool, but it'll be uh, a nice refreshing drink. Ah, that hits the spot. <laughs> that is good. It's kind of just like normal temperature, but this has that kind of like slight coconut taste that makes it so delicious. I think I've had a coconut in literally every single country that I've visited. Definitely in Asia. They're so popular just on the streets here. Like this guy's selling some. The guy over there is selling some and I just got baskets full of coconuts. This one's a little bit small compared to the ones that you can get in like Sri Lanka. But it definitely tastes really good. Mm. So 80 tacos around. 80 cents so just less than a dollar for this 
Can you ask if once I finish it, he can chop it open for me? Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's let's slam it. I just noticed there's kind of a uh, some cobwebs or some ants <coughs> congregating on the side there. Okay, you can chop. Thank you. Oh, I left a little. I left a lot in there. I thought I had a. I was sipping it up, and it was just air. I must have had my straw. Yeah, like a look, like you wasted my cup. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bad. Oh, okay. A little bit of a meat in there. Not as white as you like, but the best part is when they. I think you use that. To like yeah, yeah, yeah. You. The best part is they make like a spoon out of it. Oh, yeah. look at that. And then this side as well. I really thought that I had drunk all of the coconut. But unfortunately not. Oh yeah, he's putting it all in the one half for me. Perfect. Thank you very much. I might grab you. Get you just to hold that for me, please, sir. Do you have like a, uh, usually, usually they food. make like, they chop off the side and you yeah, get a little yeah. bit of a spoon. Okay, perfect. So we got this little bit here. So let's try some of it. The coconut meat, the coconut jelly. Oh, we dropped a bit, but let's try some of it. Mm. It's just like jelly. It has a really nice like texture. And more of like a, coconut taste to it. Oh, I got. <laughs> got a bit of husk in there. <laughs> Very good. Yum. Let's get this last little bit here. Nice little, little chunk. Very good, sir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For you. Thank you very much, sir. No change. You keep. Put it up there. Okay. Put it up there. Thank you, sir. Nice little coconut here in Select. I feel rehydrated. Nadir is in the process of getting a shave or at least waiting. One of the funniest things in, in Bangladesh is that I don't think in a country ever I've had so many issues with like roofs. Like I'm not I'm not that tall, but I have to be hunched over here. I'm like six foot, maybe six one, but here. I'm grazing my head, but on this part, <laughs> knock out. And even on this part, I'm always having to duck, and I'm not even that tall. Imagine if you're six foot five or six foot six. But look how beautiful this part is. You got the sun setting in the distance by the river. Lots of people just chilling. It's such a nice chill spot, despite the trash that builds up, but nice sunset over there, while people just enjoy the evening time. Look at this guy swimming over here, he's fully just submerging himself over there. Hello, doing good, excellent. But yeah, it's a common thing, just lots of people swimming. He's just wearing lungi, which is actually something I've noticed here in Bangladesh is similar to like parts of Kerala or a lot of South India is the men, they wear like kind of, it's called lungi or I don't know another word for it. I don't know what's called here, but it's kind of like, like fabric kind of skirts, but it's very common here in Bangladesh. You'll see like a lot of the rickshaw drivers. I'll try find, see like this guy, he's got, the lungi on, this guy's got lungi, or whatever they're called. Um, Salaam Alaikum. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really common here. Hello, sir. Oh, you're driving truck? Hi. All right, you, you're it's perfect. You're from? Australia. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I also Maldives driving five years. Oh, in where? Maldives airport. Maldives. Oh, Maldives. Wow, very beautiful place. Yes, it is. Well, you're a great driver. You did this perfectly. 
Oh, is he gonna turn, turn? Wow, perfect. So close. Look at that. You are expert. Passenger capacity vehicle. What is this vehicle used for? This is for trans, like transport. 2006. Ah, <laughs> what is it? Toyota, Mitsubishi? No, Toyota, no. This is China. China? This is one time. <laughs> ah. No, original vehicle. And it's from 2006? Yeah. How's it not broken yet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like 18 years. No, not 18. You yeah, only one? 17 years. You only one? No, my friend, he's in, in, in how, getting shaved. How many days you are this Bangladesh? Uh, two weeks. Holiday, yeah? Yeah, tourists travel. Okay, okay. Just making some films. Can hotel select or Dhaka? Yeah, we go back to Dhaka. Yeah. Why not? Very good. But yeah, as I was saying. This is uh, Surma Ribas. This is what? This is Surma Ribas, very long Ribas. Ah, uh, it goes all the way through yeah, yeah, Bangladesh. Yeah. yeah. And in in monsoon, does the water come? After uh, after uh, raining, one, one two months after, and the flood, all the full water. Wow! Even like up. This is all the flood. Really here? Yes. Mm. Wow. They all the house, any house the damage. <laughs> really? So this house yes, might yes, get yes. flooded. Wow. You see the net? <laughs> huh? You see the net? The net. Net. Uh, mobile net. Is oh yeah, yeah. Yes, flood. flood. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So then the, the city is sometimes yeah. flooding? Any people this upside and building no, oh. good, no money. Yeah. Very crisis time. Yeah. Wow. That's not good. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, it all comes up when the rainfall starts. Sometimes it comes up to the very top here. You can imagine just how much volume of water that is to have to come up to this level on both sides and obviously the continuous like length of the river. Ah, uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. But thank you so much. Okay, okay. What is your name? Islamuddin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so what are you doing now? You are going home or? In my house only the city to my house 25 kilometers. Oh. Outside, wow. city outside. So you're working now? This is my drive. Ah, very good. Oh. All right, lovely to meet you. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks. Can you tell him I'll buy him food? Yeah, he wants food? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go buy them some food. It's good to sometimes give them money. Okay, what do you want? Assalamualaikum. I want to buy some food for him. I don't know what they're saying. I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will buy him some food, okay? I don't know what he wants though. Okay, let's have chai. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy him some food. Sorry? Huh? Anybody poor man? Yeah, yeah. That's why I want I want to buy food for him. Please uh. don't. Yeah, I'll I'll buy him food, okay? But I, I, I don't I don't know what he wants. I don't know. I'll I'll ask, okay? You want? Oh, he also like the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. Rice. Yeah. Okay, can I buy one? <laughs> well, I, I don't know why it's so hard to to understand. I just want to buy him some food. I think he put his order in with that kid. So, uh, right here. Ooh. One minute, one minute. Ah, oh, yeah, but I, I want to buy him the food, okay? I think he's maybe just stealing from the kitchen. Let's go in and investigate. <laughs> Hello. Salam alaikum. I want to buy him food. I will. I will pay. 
Wow, look at this kitchen in here. Oh, he's getting the rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big bag of rice. And I think maybe they get him some curry. Oh, look at that big rice. They're sorting him out. That'll probably be like maybe a hundred taka or something. They got all the uh, the kettles boiling. Look at this in the back area, just where it's all cooked. Look at this, just on a concrete pallet. Concrete block. It's so it's so hot in here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> you think it's funny? <laughs> so they got his little rice packet here. They got his uh, curries. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Very good. Have a great day, okay? <laughs> Mashallah. All right, you take care. 100? 100? 25. 25. 125. 100? 25. 20. Well, that's 50, right? Oh, they're perfect. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 130. Mm. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. No change, no change, no change. All right. I just tell my friend that I'm here, okay? I just need to... Oh, he knows? Okay, thank you. Alright, let's get some cha. Coffee. Cha? Yeah, coffee. Oh, coffee. Yeah, coffee. Ah, okay. Oh. A Bangladeshi coin. This is coin. Let me know. Yeah, taka. Yes, I will come there in the kitchen, giving the, some passengers yeah. my vehicle. Give them some money. Oh, so you were driving yeah, the pa yeah. passengers? Uh, yeah. hey, this is Bangladesh money. Yeah. This is 100 rupees. Rupees? Mm. Or taka? Taka. Taka, taka. Okay, For you. Okay. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, we. All right. So this is coffee? This is coffee yes. Wow, it's so hot. <laughs> it smells really good though. Mm. <laughs> Super sugary. Very delicious. A touch. One touch. Feel beyond expectation. So how much is coffee? As, uh, 20 rupees. 20 rupees. Yeah, two cup, uh, 40. 40. Mm. Come on this board. Evening breakfast. Yeah. Evening breakfast. Ah. What was your favorite part about working in the Maldives? Now, no work every day. Are you driving? There is train. There is train taking the 14 people capacity, passenger capacity vehicle. 14. Just to give the money. Ah, the money is good. But nice, nice beaches. Mm. Nice water, islands. <laughs> no, please. No island. Please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Maldives. Australia, Sri Lanka, and Maldives are big island. Yeah. I used to be visiting the city four years. Uh huh, four years. Maldives. Yeah. This is really nice. It's kind of like <laughs> getting darker as we get in. It has like the frothy bit on the top that's always white. So, um, tea garden, Bangladesh. So, this is from Silet? Silet Coffee? Silet Coffee. Oh, wow. It's very good. Do you, would you like one? No, no, no. No? Where is the city in Australia? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah. The capital city? I hold my one Australia. No, no, no. Every, it's the... Num number one city, but Canberra. Oh, Canberra, okay. 
Everybody thinks, and rightfully so, Sydney, that Sydney, Sydney, Sydney is the capital, but it's the biggest city, it's the In most Maldives. populated city, but Canberra is where all the government buildings are. No idea why, no one likes Canberra. Boring place. But it's where all the politicians work, so I guess they get to decide at the end of the day. Mm. Has a really nice, like, kind of tiny little bit of a chocolatey taste to it. But let's finish this off. Mm. Very good. I will pay, okay? Okay. No, 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 I will pay. I will pay. No, 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 no. I will pay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. I I will I will pay. No, no, I mean pay the money. No, 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 no. Always. Don't get thanks. Better thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm good. How are you? Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. Very delicious coffee. All right, I'm gonna go speak to my friend. All right. Yeah. Thank you again. Okay, thank you. Again. What a kind guy. Literally just met him on the street. Look at all the birds here, everybody. <laughs> oh no, no, thank you. There's a lot of people asking for money now that Nadir is not here to fend them all off. But uh, look at all the birds. They're just like flying around. I think they're hawks or eagles. They're really big. There's some crows there. But. Look at that one flying around. They're massive birds. Not like eagles, but uh, they must come out like at dusk time, trying to get some food. In Australia, we have like seagulls by the beach. They're like these white birds that are so annoying. Everybody hates the seagulls because they steal your chips. Even like if you're eating like a, a big burger or something, they've gotten so smart where they just come, like you're about to bite into it and they just swoop it and take it from you. Nobody likes the seagulls. In Australia. Oh, what is that? You are married? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Anyways, we better go link back up with Nadir. Uh, I think he should be finishing his shave shortly because we're getting harassed out here. <laughs> this is so comfy. Did you have to What? Did you know it was me? Yeah. Oh damn. Oh, no. Wait, that was you? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was using his other hand. <laughs> I was like, that's an extra service. <laughs> no nose picking. <laughs> it's gotten to the next level. I got a, uh, a seat in the barber shop. But they're following me in. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it? I thought I was going to be safe in here. A lot of people have been asking me for money lately, especially in Celeste. I have some loose change, alright? I'll give you some loose change. What do I have in here? Whatever this is. I think 30 taka. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me seek cover in your shop. Well, it's gotten really quiet all of a sudden. Okay. Nice to meet you. Great speaking to you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Let's find us some. Uh... <laughs> all right, everybody. Man, I was I was struggling fending off everybody. What I had like there were so many people asking for money or yeah, yeah. I, I bought some guys some uh, a guy some food yeah. there were other ladies coming at me I was like ah oh. I thought seeking uh, shelter in the barber shop but then yeah. she she came in yeah. and I still had to give her money oh, it was it's, crazy it's still behind I tried I tried to give her a thirty taka and she refused she wants a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's like, just give her 10 back as she wants your money. <laughs> I gave you 500 yesterday. <laughs> there you go. Give it? Make sure. Happy? <laughs> Spend it wisely. No lollies. Only healthy food, okay? <laughs> Don't get robbed again. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday when I gave them 500, it was her that came back crying, or was yeah, it the yeah, other lady? Yeah, yeah. Like two kids and one of them just <laughs> took all the money <laughs> and failed. I told them to split it, but one of them just ran off with it. So it's only fair we give a little bit as well. All right, guys, we had to make kind of a crazy uh, exit there, and I didn't really feel much. We had like he was like a 14 year old, yeah. and the little girl said that he's like an addict. He looks like he's on drugs, yeah. and uh, it was, uh, we don't want to give money to people to support their habits in that circumstance. I know, like, kind of like rat bags, and then he had his like little brother that was like grabbing our bags and stuff. I was like, oh, let's just hop on a, a rickshaw and get out of here, and then. The, uh, the rickshaw driver, what did he, he like swerved into yeah. him and was like, ah, trying to yeah, like scare the, them off. The rickshaw driver pretty much saved us. <laughs> he was like, said one word and the guys were, the kids were like, no, we're not, we're not doing this. But it was like, I didn't want to get beaten up by some kids. <laughs> oh man. But the other day when we were in downtown Salette, I saw the like potato swirl. So you see it like carnivals and theme parks. I had a few in, uh, in Kurdistan, I know. And I'm pretty sure I'd have had them in a couple of other places around the world. So. I want to try them here in uh, in Bangladesh, in Salet. So that's kind of what we're on the search for, the potato swirls. And hopefully we can find them. All right, we're going down the main strip, everybody. This is where we were walking down the other day. So there's all kinds of people just selling all their stuff on carts. A lot of jeans being sold, fruit on the other side, pineapple there. But it's bustling out here. Look at all the markets and shops. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. Tomanamki? Tomanamki? Rabu. Rabu. Very good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he was having a little cheeky poke at the camera, so I just started to uh, film, asked him some questions, and. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> the deal was saying this is like the center of town. Yeah. Like the main intersection. I think this is the center of yeah. city. It's busy. The lights just make it. It's like New York City on a minor scale with all the lights and all the pedestrians. Give us the We're like stopping traffic. Go, <laughs> go, 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 go. Jalon, Jalon, Jalon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Got it? Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Holy crap. Stopping in the middle of traffic. They could've they could have just walked with us, so they just made the, the driver stop. This is just hectic. Oh, we found it, we found it, we found it. Oh, perfect. Look at this, everybody. Potato swirls. All the ta tornadoes. Salam alaikum. Right, so 100 is okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, I've been looking for ages around Bangladesh to find these potato swirls. But they basically get all the potato. They use that machine over there to twist it all up. It goes in the deep fryer and then uh, you add ketchup, all these different kinds of spices. So, um, assalamu alaikum. Can I have egg? Egg? Yeah, yeah. Can you do fresh? Like, uh, no, or could you ask him if he can do like a fresh one for me? Yeah, nice. So he has the potatoes ready. Here they are. These ones kind of look a little bit old, but... I'm not entirely sure how much this will actually cost. Maybe like 50, but here he goes. We got the potatoes in there. So he gets the skewer. He pierces the hole into the middle. And that 
goes into the It's actually kind of a small one, so we just twist it like that. And it comes out in the perfect kind of like slinky. It's like a slinky basically. Look at this. Oh, how clean. Wow. That is so clean. Beautiful. It's like the perfect length and size and then basically right into the hot deep fryer all right let's go around the other side oh there he is the second one you're having one delicious yes how much does one cost Koto? <laughs> 20, 20. Uh, 20. Wow, that's like 20 cents for a potato on a stick. I think that's uh, this man's one. But in there, you can see it. So, all of these ones have already been kind of pre-fried so they're super quick in just reheating it and making sure that it just makes the eating experience <laughs> delicious yes all right no I have my own I have one thank you though one piece. no it's okay I'm, I will have don't about that you can see it in there just bubbling away and getting super hot, super crispy. But look how evenly dispersed all of the little individual things are. It's like, so aesthetic. Mm. Mm. You agree? <laughs> wow, we have a congregation of people. <laughs> You're like a magnet for uh, <laughs> people looking for spare change. I love Alright, I think it's almost finished. I think he's getting the last few seconds in there. So 20 taka for this, that's just 20 cents. Um, but this guy just got one. Are you having one? Yeah. It's delicious? Yes. He's getting all the oil off. Very good. Wow, crispy potato. <laughs> you got just one, right? Yeah, yeah, just one. I think that, that one's for this gentleman. Which uh, country? Australia. Alright, so we get, is this salt? Salt? <coughs> and then all the ketchup just gets on there. Don't about it. Thank you very much. Alright guys, we got the good lighting right here, but look at this. Ketchup, salt and pepper, all on this. Well, let's try it out everybody. <laughs> We're getting photos. <laughs> First, potato tornado, or tornado potato, here in Bangladesh. Let's try it out. Oh! Wow! Oh my god! It is so crunchy, so crispy. A little bit of spice from the sauce, but you can see all of the individual little spaceships have bits of sauce on it, and I think there are chili flakes in the middle. But this is delicious. Oh, we're making a mess. It's going everywhere. Oh my God. I don't know how to eat it. It's so crunchy, we're losing half of it. 
I think you just have to go individually. There we go. Yum. Ooh, it is a little bit spicy. I think it's from the uh, the sauce that's on there. Wow. This is like the perfect roadside snack. Just get it on the street here. Just pull over and just enjoy the experience of having a tornado potato. Oh. <laughs> We're spilling it everywhere. Woo. It's a little bit hot, a little bit spicy, especially these end bits, which have so much of the tomato chili sauce on it. Oh my god, look how much I dropped on the floor everybody, it's so difficult to eat when it's crispy. Oh, I think I figured it out at the very end. There we are. Alright, what we'll do is we'll spin it around. Put that there, and then we'll get the last little bit all in one bite. Oh, oh, oh. Delicious. Do you have a dust bin? bin? Thank you. Wipe the, uh, the mess off my face. Wow. Thank you, sir. And we'll pay, so I think it was 20 tucker. So we'll give him a tip for the good service. Thank you, sir. No change. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Potato tornado here in uh, Salet, Bangladesh. Very delicious. But it's so cool on the streets here. They just have so many shop fronts. Like, there's a guy cooking up some food there. There's a guy selling underwear, fruit. We got different kinds of food. This kind of looks like. Is this fuchka? Yeah. Yeah, fuchka. It's kind of in a different. Um, I don't think that's Puchka, right? It's like a different kind of uh, bread pastry bit. But uh, take no picture. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Oh, you're looking very smart. I'll come down to your level. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Very good. Very nice good. to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Eh? Where are you from? Well, I'm gonna come. Australia. Australia. Yeah. So you're from Silet? Yeah, I'm from Silet. Very good. You come from? You come here to be a visit? Yeah, just tourist travel. Oh. Explore the amazing places in Silet. Today you come? Oh. No, yesterday. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You're from Australia. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I also have a dream to go to Australia. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Can I take a picture? Uh, yeah, bro. What is it? Channel name? Uh, Luke Demand. Luke? Luke Demand. Yeah. Oh. Are you on live? Thank you. Are you on live? No, no, not live. So I want to take a picture. For YouTube, for Where YouTube. Where are my friends? Never mind. <laughs> one picture. Hello, what's, your, what's your name? My name is Joy. Very nice to meet you, brother. Bro. Okay, brother. Take your picture. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to take a very What's good. your name? Luke. Where is <laughs> Where do you come from? Australia. 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 Uh, Luke Demand. Luke Demand. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Nice. Okay. Nice. Alright. Are you okay. Twitter? Twitter. Oh, let's go. Alright guys. Nadir bhai, Nadir bhai. Thank you, sir. Delicious potato chips. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna get a CNG, kind of get out of the chaos. It's absolutely crazy out here on the streets in Salet. People are friendly and uh, they're always willing to have a chat.
All right guys, so that was a pretty crazy end to this video here in Salette. It's been an amazing time traveling around the city, seeing all the sights, trying a little bit of food. I'm still uh, on the mend and on the recovery from my food poisoning that I got in Dhaka, but uh, it's amazing to kind of get your expectations completely demolished. I thought Salette was a little bit more chill and uh, more nature orientated, but as always, you can uh, go into the downtown area and it's absolute chaos, just like a lot of cities here in Bangladesh. But thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. As always, chase your dreams, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.